I didn't tell you when I came in. Mm. Remember the independent film I had auditioned for for a supporting role? Mm -hmm. I got it. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. When does that shoot? March. Like three weeks in March in Central California. We're going to have the whole... It's really cool because... Wow, they cast it this far out for yes, an independent film. Yes, it's an independent film. The reason we're doing it is in March is because it's, it's a modern-day Western mm -hmm. in the Central Valley in California. And it's uh, that time of year for a lot of reasons around that place. Uh, where the cattle go at particular times. Mm. And uh, so we're going to be there on the ranch the entirety of the time. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And... You can follow us well, Corbin Miles! Instagram and Twitter! Instagram and Twitter! Come on, Jesus! Come Today we got a food video. Yeah, yeah. And it's from the Best Ever Food Review Show. Oh, yay! Uh, so this is How India Cooks 90,000 Meals in Three Hours. They cook way more than that. It's a billion people there. <laughs> I think this is in one place. Oh! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought it was, you said, said how India does it. Well, we know how they do it. There's a billion of them eating every day. Stupid. <laughs> Here we go. Is this going to be the Golden Temple? Because we've seen them feed a lot of people there. Mm, I think it's different. Yeah. Hey, this volume of food is going to feed about 90,000 kids. 90,000 children for one day. 90,000 children. <laughs> No, Last time on the best ever India road trip, we took on Baby Shark in Goa. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Today we're heading to Bangalore and getting a first hand look at India's most impressive mega kitchen. A place where, in just three to four hours, they're cooking 90,000 lunches for school kids all around the area. Of the city, we feed about 200,000 children. This isn't just happening here. Akshaya Patra Foundation is feeding millions each day in 12 different states across India. Wow, this is incredible. That's a pot. Meet Sri Chantalapati Dasa, the nice vice chairman of the Akshaya Patra Foundation. If children are hungry, they will not be able to get the learning experience that we're right. into. Today we're going to learn what it takes to cook at this incredible scale. Wow, that's an incredible sight to see. After the food is made, we'll follow it to its final destination. Wait, you're also, are you all my friends? So get ready to have your cold heart melted. This is India's cold mega heart. kitchen in Bangalore. Suggested by our fans, this is a bus stop for any road tripper on their way to Bangalore. Here you're gonna find a dosa. Sri Guru Kata Shada Butter Dosa Hotel. One of the best hotels. There's no room. A type of pancake cooked on an old school cast iron flat top. Heated with wood and dried coconut husk. This is called a banane dosa. It just means butter. It means butter dosa because this huge vat right here is just full of butter. The batter is a mix of rice flour and lentil flour. Throw it on the flat top, add some butter, then add some more butter. Oh, more yeah. butter. So over here, this is my uh, butter. We've got two dosas, potato, coconut chutney. Oh, they have a dry coconut chutney too. And then even more butter on top. Uh. That was good. It looks like a pancake. Here we go. Alyssa, where are you going? I'm going to Bangalore. Ah, see, a lot of people stop here. Well, how do I do it? I just break it off. Well, we'll have to stop there. Don't try me. Oh, hold on. Wait for me. We can make a whole thing out of it. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that made me want pancakes. Oh, that's the best dosa I've ever had. What is spicy? The chutney is spicy. The crepe itself has an amazing texture. <laughs> It's so crazy when you pick it up, but so satisfying. Like you actually do taste the butter. Is this something I was worried about? So try it out again. Oh, which is funny because he called it a dosa right before that. Oh, I really like it. Oh, this is my first time seeing this. They have a wet chutney and a dry chutney. The dry one, I don't know. Those are more hardcore people. They just like it dry, no lubrication. Just put it right in there. 
It's like a coconut paste. Oh, so spicy. The butter just squeezes out like a sponge every bite you take. I don't know anybody who likes it dry. I don't recommend any place, thank you. Don't say something wrong, already <laughs> over <laughs> cold. But in the South, it's just better. The rice flour lends a nice cushiony crunch, a much more inviting mouthfeel than the more gritty lentil dosas in the North. We're going to uh, Bangalore. Which one do you call it, Bangalore or Bangalore? Bangalore. <laughs> Sorry, spicy. Oh no, I'm dying. Brady. <laughs> Bangalore. Population 12 million and the center for IT in India. Right now, I'm headed to one of the three Akshaya Patra kitchens in the area. I am with the vice chairman of the Akshaya Patra Foundation. Sir, such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Namaste. This is the world's largest non-government organization and they've already served up 3 billion meals. That's nearly enough to feed half the world's population. Basically, we have a centralized kitchen. We cook large quantity of food and put them in an insulated container and deliver at the school. So the advantage of this is you can do things on a large scale, you have better control, you can use technology, so it's a lot more easier. And yeah, it's probably better for you than McDonald's. Instead of training Probably. staff at each school, just create one centralized kitchen with a highly trained team who can crank out thousands of meals per day. This is the most efficient way to turn every single penny into a meal. But where does that money come from in the first place? We have business houses, corporations, we have foundations, and we have individuals. The simple people who contribute just to feed one child mm. for a year. We've linked below to where you yourself can contribute some amount mm. to this mission. So awesome. how do they do it? What systems and strategies have they implemented over the last 18 years to pump out huge volumes of yummy, nutritious meals? Let's find out. It all starts in the kitchen around 5.30 a.m. We're about to head into the kitchen first. We wear these shoes. So we're not bringing in any contaminants from the street outside. And... Do you, yes. Do you need a hair net? They said we gotta cover the ears too, yeah. for the ear hair. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The main kitchen is lined on both sides with giant cooking vessels. Each vessel can cook 1,000 meals in just 15 minutes. Basically, these cauldrons are for preparing rice. The type of food is important. Usually something with a rice or lentil base is easier to cook at scale. Right now, they're cooking kichdi, a huge blend of lentil and rice. Once it's almost cooked through, they toss in the masala. The meal is interesting for the children. And we avoid repetition of the menu so that it's always something new. They have a gravy nozzle. Spin it like like this, and then it and there's a pivot point right here, and then it can all tilt forward depending on the type of food. Beyond it just being large volume, like this smells incredible. It's this amazing blend of Indian spices. So this is a second cooking room with even larger containers about twice the size. Food done, time to move it. From here to here. Oh, and I like they have a special tool so you could never accidentally bump the lever. Right. From here, they're going to bring it to the portioning area. These tanks can hold up to 1,500 liters of liquid. He lifts up the lid. There's a lid. Wow. There are two. This place is so magical. I love it. From here, it's poured into small vessels that end up in the classroom. Look at this. Can I turn it? You would take advantage of this moment, wouldn't you? You was gentle with it. You don't just crank it, okay? You just give it a little bit of torque. There it goes, okay. There's so much power behind it. Oh, it is hot. It is very hot. That's good? Uh-oh, did I overfill it? That was an amazing experience. And no one has ever tried to swim in this yet. <laughs> This temperature will be around 90 degrees. Do not swim in the food. I guess this is a good time to talk about food safety. Each food is cooked to 90 degrees Celsius to kill all bacteria. The shipping vessels are washed twice and steam cleaned right before receiving the food. Hair nets, aprons, gloves. No human comes in direct contact with the food. And if ever there was a problem, a sample is taken from each batch just in case lab testing is required. Finally, the containers are sealed, labeled, and loaded making their way to nearby school. What we are hoping to do next, I think I'm going to be joining a school and seeing what it's like to be the awkward kid in the lunchroom again. Do you think I'll find some kids who want to hang out with me? Oh, absolutely. They'll be too happy to see you. <laughs> shall be deprived of education because of hunger. This is the Akshaya Patra vision. Hi, everybody. 
today I'm going to eat lunch with you. But I <laughs> promise I won't okay. eat all your food. <laughs> the lunch is so much more than just a meal. Schools that offer the free lunch actually see an increase in enrollment. And kids with a full belly perform better in the classroom and retain more information. You know when you're like eating some food and it's so good and you're like, mmm, that is called yummy. Yummy. <laughs> the food truck is here. Let's go say hi. Hello, sir. In here, we see all the containers here are loading up this morning, and just a couple of these are for the school. Here, she's taking a note of the amount of food. Oh, yeah? Very nice. Thank you. They got peanuts. If you don't eat all your peanuts, can I have some? Course one for today. Sweet rice and lentils and seasoned peanuts. Hey, what's your name? Manjuna, nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? Mangasa. Mangasa. Oh, nice to meet you. You know, my favorite part is that they gave me a kid's portion as well. Just grab it like that. Ooh, I'm gonna try some peanuts first. Oh, they're yummy nuts. Little salty roasted nuts. This is a texture I've not tried to eat with my hands before. Big bees tasty nuts. Oh, that's sweet. Mmm, that can't be the right way. Let me watch you. No, that's the right way. She's just really good at it. She makes like a little spoon with her hand. And then does the thumb. Yeah, the thumb yeah. is very important. It's really good. Oh, it's it's terribly messy here. It's a little sweet. There's a little bit of cardamom flavor. It's really interesting. There's a whole other menu item behind us. Course two, a savory rice lentil kitschti. This is the one we saw being made in the factory. Oh, wow. The first one, very sweet, almost like a dessert. Oh. Thank you. She gave me the adult portion this time. This one has curry leaves, tons of delicious Indian spices. That's what I say when I don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> blend of Indian spices. It's got this great blend it's of Indian, blend of Indian really spices. It's not be too hot or it will burn your hand because that's what you're eating with. Oh, 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 super savory, delicious. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, he's cheating. Oh. Oh, is he not an outcast here? <laughs> oh, damage. The kid next to me said damage. Someone's using a spoon. Perhaps he hurt his arm. Can we drink it? I didn't know I could just drink it. I can drink it. It's okay? Mmm. <laughs> it's yummy. Mmm. It's much faster. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> you help me eat this? I took too much. Do you want half? No. You eat a lot? You're okay? Can we be friends? <laughs> That's cool. What's up, YouTube comments? Made fun of my loneliness this whole time. Welcome to what? What's your name, Megan? I have a friend, everybody. <laughs> Wait, you're also. Are you all my friends? <laughs> it's not enough for this nutritious meal to just be healthy. It's got to taste good too. Kids are kids. Wherever you are in the world, if the food tastes bad, they're not gonna eat it. Is this? What is this one? Lemon pickle. Lemon pickle. Oh, you just eat a little bit. Good. <laughs> In some parts of India, this midday meal may be the only meal that child eats all day. And while they're at school, they're getting a proper education, which can open a whole world of opportunities and possibilities. If you'd like to contribute to this mission, please visit the link below. Even a few bucks can make a huge difference to children here. Lastly, I'd like to thank One Trip for making the best ever India road trip possible. If you're traveling to Vietnam, let me recommend adventuring alongside a guide from One Trip. That's One Trip ad. So you you watch that. Um, but yeah, that was great. I love the the. It's actually reminded me a lot of what the Village Cooking Channel. But they yeah. did in their own village. This yeah. is a, a big, larger scale, larger scale operation that feeds millions of of kids every year, which is wonderful. I love that. Yeah, I, it. I. It's sad to think that with kids, any human being, but especially children, have to go. You know, they only get one meal that day. Yeah, that's makes me very sad. So unfortunately, as a as a human race, we haven't figured out. No, the pro. I mean, not that it's a simple problem, but world hunger. Now, it's it's a, obviously a very complex thing. Yeah, but also it's it's very simple as well. It is. It's 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 a, it's a simple fix, but it is complex because you have accessibility. You have 
politics, you yeah. have greed. Yeah. Um, this just the in Thalo, it's obviously of course not just in it. There's millions of kids everywhere in, in, in all America over the world. in, in yeah, all here over too. the world that that go hungry. Um, not that not that either they're in an adoption center or they're homeless themselves or they come from a low income family yes. that they can't afford dinner that night. Yes. It's 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 an awful thing to think about. Yeah, it really is. This is wonderful. Um, just th that's a big takeaway for me is the fact that there's that many children being fed for free. That's the big takeaway for me. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, uh, once we come to India next, and we're gonna do our south trip, that place would be really good. Yeah, if it's it is. a stop in between like Goa and somewhere else. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be going to Goa. Yep. Um, since it's more southern, um, maybe we'll be able to stop there because that that did look quite tasty. Let us know what other videos we can react to uh, down below. Josh.